you, you mentioned playing through injury and play, playing through pain. I think it was not that 81 World Series, wasn't it, where Goose Gossage uh, threw that Aaron fastball and hit you right in the ear flap, and you were motionless on the ground. I mean, I'm old enough that I remember it quite well. Uh, I remember the incident. I don't remember exactly what game it was, but I think it was 81. What do you remember from that? And I think uh, what? What you about? when you got hit in the head by no, the Gossage. Are you sure about that? <laughs> oh, no, good. You're good. Thank I mean, you. Did you uh, miss it? It was games? game five, I mean, what was... and it was the uh, yeah. bottom of the eighth inning. Game five, the 81, and game right. six, didn't you? Yeah. Well, how, how did you do that? I mean, I, some people didn't think you were going to live through that. Uh, yeah, my wife thought I was dead. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what I, you know, I was really fortunate. Uh, there have been others who have been hit in that area. And Dickie Thon, I remember, who's closer to my ear than Billy Knigliero was. But if you remember what happened to those two fine players, uh, you know, it, it wasn't very sweet after that. You know, they suffered tremendously. The, the good thing about all of that, even though I had a concussion and I was kind of dizzy, for uh, at least a month and uh, probably a few more months since I've gotten older as well. Uh, <laughs> but uh, the uh, protocol would have had me sitting down and uh, it was, it was left up to me. And so uh, I remember the, when I got there, I came a day late because I had to go back through Sentinel hospital and take all the tests over again and get cleared. And then they basically left it up to me. And uh, we had a, uh, uh, a cold out, if you will, uh, the day that the sixth game was scheduled. So it was delayed a day, and that helped me a great deal. Um, and so uh, when I went to the park uh, the next day, uh, well, sort of was like uh, one of my dogs. He was shadowing me <laughs> the entire time. And he said, how do you feel? I feel great. Uh, just let me go out here and get my work done. And this happened all the way up until batting practice. And uh, I finally had to kick him out. I said, look, I got a new ear flap. I got I to gotta try to get used to this. I got to see if I'm okay. Uh, and he says, well, you know, the fourth spot's left open in the lineup. And I said, I know. And if you leave me alone, I can probably <laughs> get to you pretty soon. And so when I went in after batting practice, there was a ton of reporters in the, in the locker room at Yankee Stadium. And uh, uh, I just poked my head through the door and gave him a thumbs up and said, let's go. So Thumbs up, though. But you said you were dizzy for a month. So yeah, I was. Two days later, you were dizzy. I was dizzy for about 30 years after that. Too, 30 so. years, okay. But so two <laughs> days later, you were certainly dizzy. Had you played that day uh, being dizzy and all? Well, that's uh, – well, uh, Listen, I, I, I went through my protocol, and I, and I wouldn't have put the team in jeopardy, nor myself, uh, not for a minute. And uh, in the, I think it was the uh, bottom of the fifth inning, uh, I went back out after I had hit and drove in our run that put us ahead for good with a base hit to center field, and then we tacked on some more runs. And so we were kind of cruising along at that point. And we added some more runs a little bit later, but uh, in that bottom of the fifth inning, the last out, there was a little humpback liner hit to me. And it was an easy catch, but the ball came at me like an old fuzzy tennis ball. So I said, okay. And uh, this had come after when I had uh, uh, run from first to third on a base hit by Dusty Baker in that same inning. And then Pedro Guerrero hit a triple to the gap and uh, during that run from first to third, I just felt a little funny. And then I was confirmed uh, when I saw that ball hit to me that didn't look like a baseball. And uh, I decided that I was going to turn it over. And I said, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to carry this. I'm not going to have a play come up and then me be the one that uh, messed this thing up. So uh, I turned it over to Daryl Thomas. And uh, we, we uh, Steve Howe got the last uh, fly ball to Kenny Lando on center field, and uh, that was it. 